is up? I'm Warner Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. The returns are just flowing in at this point. Again, I think we have about 500 cards total. Uh, this one is Pokemon as well as some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We'll show those at the end as this is primarily Pokemon channel. But actually, we're starting with... Uh, so I think this might just be a gap in my understanding of how to submit cards from PSA. But we do have two Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but like these, they, they said don't hold her. I guess I didn't say that they wouldn't grade it but i mean it's so obvious what this is it's a miscut card i had two of them and they just sent them back so i'm not sure if i need to specify that oh look i'm looking for that miscut whatever grade um but they didn't do that but you know those aren't really anything crazy they're kind of they're just regular cards uh from that set i think all the cards in that set are hollow but let's get into the pokemon returns we're starting off with a really cool promo this is from 2016 and um so i don't have the brilliant stars alternate art charizard v but like i feel like this is a continuation of that battle where right now venusaur is getting the upper hand uh charizard does not look happy about it and um then maybe sets up to take his victory in the alt art in brilliant stars but this one did get a mint nine um, I mean, sometimes it's kind of clear why, I don't know, maybe there's just this little itty bitty nick in the corner, so, yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, I had a bunch of these gold energy cards, which, um, you know, at first I thought, hey, you know what's the ultimate way to swag out your, your, your competitive deck is to use these, but you know what, let me just get them graded. This one got a 9, I mean, center's not perfect, all good there. We got another 9 for the fighting energy, so these are the, uh, sun and moon era. I think, um, you know, the Sword and Shield ones, I feel like they look pretty good, but uh, I think I like these ones a little better. We did get a te metal. We had a couple metal. So we got a nine, 8, 9, and 10. The entire gambit. Alright, next. Dragon's, Dragon Majesty. I always think Dragon's Majesty, but Dragon Majesty. We got the Gem Mint 10 on the Charizard. Uh, pulled a bunch of these. Actually, the, you should look at the sealed. Like, that was not a good set. Uh, but I guess there's just not a lot of sealed out there, so the prices are quite high. And I still don't think that's enough to put a premium on this card. The art isn't bad, but I feel like it's nothing amazing. But it was pretty easy to grade. So we fetched a bunch of 10s there, really nice. Uh, starting to get back some of these character rares, or the, yeah, the character seeker rares. Uh, no, they didn't even, they didn't call it CHR yet. Um, but this is Cosmic Eclipse. When they first introduced it, I really like this you know, this was one of the alt art variety, like kind of alt art for variants of cards, uh, which I, I really enjoyed this. And I feel like there are some that are doing pretty well. It's not too uh, surprised. I think actually this one's doing pretty well, but unfortunately we did get the mid nine. Um, maybe just centering. Yeah, centering is not exactly perfect. There's like the little dots on the corners. I think Mimic is doing okay. I think obviously the Pikachu is doing well. And we have LT Surge with the Magnemite to PSA 10. Next, we got... Oh man, this card, it is not expensive. I think everyone uh, should... You know, if you want to... I, I would say both sealed and... Or <laughs> sealed. Uh, raw and graded. The cards are still very cheap. Even at 10, I think the price continues to lower. I think because, you know, people like me that, that sent a bunch in... And now we're starting to get them back and we got them at that cheap price. Um, so keep an eye out for this card. It just looks so good, so unique. And I'm pretty sure you can pick them up really cheap. I think at the time when I bought them, I think it was like $8 a pop shipped from Japan. So I bought, <laughs> I think I bought like 50 of them or something. Something crazy like that. Uh, it's just such an amazing card. And not too hard to grade, which means I think the prices should be pretty reasonable. All right, so that is our first stack. Let's go to the next one. Ah, pretty disappointed about this grade. Uh, so these Fiesta cards, I think they're, I don't have all of them. I think like the, the latest one with like the, the base stars. Oh, that one looks so good. Uh, but it was quite expensive, so I never got my hands on it. This one is from 2014. Unfortunately, we did just get the nine, but love these cards. Let's see, we got Lucario, Pancham, uh, Mega Gengar, and a Sylveon. I'm not sure if there's any rhyme or reason about which ones are included. I see a tiny little white dot there. Maybe that's all it took. All right, now we got some miscellaneous cards. Uh, so don't never really had a collection of level X stuff, especially graded. Uh, so sent those in. 
and picked up an eight i'm fine you know i'm i'm content with this i think i probably picked these up on troll and toad or just picked up through collection so you know wasn't really expecting tens and just to have these in the collection i'm perfectly content with again and these are like the promo ones uh so maybe this is just from like a collection i picked up at one point here's a disappointing grade charizard expedition reverse uh, actually, as far as chart art arts, this is not my favorite. It's kind of got this weird corny 3D-ish thing, but um, Expedition was a really, you know, I think uh, e-readers, about when I got back in the hobby, was so slept on. I'm pretty sure they were really cheap. I'm sure I picked this up at a good price. Not sure why I got the 6. I was kind of doing this light thing to see, I don't know, a 6. I suspect there's like a ding or a slight bend couldn't find it not that this card is by any means great i mean there's plenty of edgeware actually maybe just the edgeware did it for the six so but either way obviously a little disappointing mewtwo level x uh not the greatest artwork but uh you know we're pulling in these eights which, which i'm perfectly fine with i think this is another yeah another black star promo we'll get the uh the other ones from the actual sets eventually entei uh classic card from the movie i have no idea how many these are printed but the, there are just so many copies of this card uh, this was just one I could say I graded myself. I'm pretty sure I could, you know, if I really wanted 10, I'll, I wouldn't grade it. I would just find one on eBay or something. Okay, here we got another six. Uh, so this is, I just had some, here's the Latias, um, and just some collection I picked up. These very unique cards and from these EX Trainer kits. Uh, so this one, uh, actually terrible edge wear, and I'm somewhere there, you can actually see the bend or the ding uh, i think it was yeah i'm not sure you can see it. it's around like right here but like all right that makes sense but then and i feel like usually when you're getting that six territory is when you can expect and, and this edgeware there's edgeware but i don't feel like it's a six worth of edgeware so i couldn't find um there must be a bend or somewhere on this card all right delta species when i got back into the hobby uh, oh my gosh, these cards are so cool. They just, it's an electric type Mewtwo. Um, so I did grade some of them. And this Mewtwo did get a mint nine. Perfectly content with that. I can tell from here, the centering is not perfect. So happy with that. Some more level X's. Another Backstar promo, Heatran. Take it. Let's see, a random camera up. So I don't know why I graded this, but actually that's a, I'm not crazy about that art, but it is unique. Um, and this is from the set, one of four of 107. All right, it must, it must have been around the release of Rebel Clash when I sent these in, because I was pulling real booms left or right, so I decided to send it in. <laughs> it's like, why did I grade this? And we sent two of them, we got the 10, we have a VMAX. I actually enjoyed playing real boom. Uh, you know, I feel like it was never that strong, but it was kind of fun to play. A lot of damage potential like up to 280 uh, if you discard the max to discard the energy so yeah that's probably why more maybe more of a sentimental thing continue to plug away that hidden fates we got the lele 10 i'm kind of surprised at how well this card is not doing uh i guess the guardians maybe you know what these golds it's kind of cool but maybe it doesn't do much um you know the it's kind of washed out with the, just the, the two two tones of color. Um, so I, I'm kind of surprised, but, you know, looking at it, maybe maybe that's why. We got a Unleashed Blastoise. I just really like this art, and it got the, you know, you got this Cracked Ice Foil. Um, not a good grade, but, I mean, I, this must be I just graded because, hey, look, I really like this Blastoise art, and I need to have it in my collection. So, makes sense. Ooh, a four on the plusle from Trainer Kit 2. What's going on here? Ooh, really beat up on the edge. Maybe it's also bent. All right, this is from... What is this from? Oh, the Tag Team Power Collection boxes. This is the, like, Umbreon, Darkrai, Espeon, Deoxys thing. And it included some random... I think it was a Glaceon and a Leafeon and a Regigigas or something. Some really random stuff. Uh, we did get the 10. And a random Mimic, or more Peko. I feel like maybe, uh, I was like, oh, I feel like they, I wonder, kind of like Marnie and her more Peko. Or it's like, oh, is this supposed to be like the, the Pikachu? Which <laughs> I don't think it's doing. More Peko's not that popular, but hey, we grade it. We got a 10. As long as we got a 10, you know, can't complain. We got it at that cheap 
price of $10 per card. All good. Or there's no wrong card, I, or I'm sure there's a wrong, like energy or something. Ooh, a little bit of uh, something up there, and that's why we got the nine, but really nice card here. Um, this one, I feel like I go back and forth where I like this copy or the alt arts. As far as alt arts go, it's it's a blast always alt art, but it's not the best alt arts. But um, I think I have both of these in a nine at this point. I don't think I got ten. And here's that tag tag team power collection. Uh, Umbreon Dark Rye. We only got the nine, and that's disappointing because oh, I feel like usually for these things it's just the centering, and from the front, centering looks pretty good. Uh, we do have a significant nick over here. Like this one's pretty significant too. That one you could probably get away with, uh, but then with these two combined, nine definitely makes sense. All right, so this is from the Sword and Shield figure collection featuring Pikachu with the new Galarian starters. And this one did only get a mint nine. Don't think I have a 10 in this. Significant nick up there, so it makes sense. Uh, I feel like at one point this card is pretty expensive, but uh, I think the price has come down. But um, this was a very unique promo. I feel like there's a lot of Japanese promos that are kind of like, you know, Navi, non GX, but still have this nice full art um, kind of thing. And I thought this was a nice step in a direction for the English cards, but they kind of pewtered out. Didn't really continue that. Here's the Espeon Deoxys. We did get a mint gem mint 10. Very nice. I feel like I'll probably hold on to these cards for a while. Um, and yeah, they'll go up. Uh, so I picked up a couple like random shiny. So these are, I don't know what SH, but maybe this means shiny, but uh, from some of these diamond and pearl sets. And like they're just, um, you know, it's the shiny variety. Uh, so we have the Dust Skull, but this one only got the four. Oh, wait, you know what? I think it's right here. Uh, in the right angle, you can see they're just like, I made it easier to see on the back. On one of these corners, there's like a clear, oh, I think it's over here. Let's see if I can't. But there's a clear indent, so it makes sense. Lugia, Shining Lugia actually doesn't look too much different to me. <laughs> but this is from Shining Legends. This is the super premium collection box thing. Uh, only got an eight. This Mewtwo was cool from Evolutions, and then they turned this into a promo, which is still like just the number 52 of that set. So definitely this card, actually the card wasn't rare to begin with, but I thought it was a cool art. And now there's, I mean, this is probably worth nothing. All right, for the Blastoise flip flop, we did get a Gem Mint 10 for the base art. Here's that Leafeon from that Tag Team Power Collection. This one only got a Mint 9. Which, you know, is, I would prefer 10, but I don't know, th th these cards are rare. I think this was like a gym, like, or uh, like if you go to an event in Japan or something, you get these. Uh, this, they just didn't know where to install these, so they just added these promos to this product, I guess. Alright, let's see, we got a Maxi's Ball Trick. Just have these random full art supporters from the XY era, and they look pretty good. So I got them great and happy with a, a mid 9, but... Man, during this time, or early sun and moon, you can see the texture on the card. I really like that versus kind of like where we are now with much lighter texturing. A nine on the right shoes. Here's another uh, XY era. Really see that texture. This one's a mint nine. Fine with that. Another one, Battle Reporter, nine. All right, here we have a, here's a head scratcher. Why did you grade this on today's version uh, edition? Rocket's Moltres, you know, it's a cool card. This really does look like a fire chicken. Um, but then you look at the back, it's like, you can see it's like stained. Um, I feel like this card is cool. It's a Moltres legendary bird, but like, it's not that cool. Why did you grade this card? It's like, I feel like a three is generous. All right, I guess there was a Glaceon as well. Oh wait, I think this one, I maybe this is the one I have a 10 in. Uh, but then this one got a six. Not sure why, not that important. Typhlosion, I think last time we had a first edition of this card. Now we got the uh, Unlimited, just as poor of a grade. <laughs> you can see the edge right up here. Ooh, okay, yep, no, uh, no argument there. Ah, see this Legendary Bird Rockets variety is really cool. This guy was deserving to be in that Celebrations uh, Classic Collection set. Very cool arts. Seven, seven is appropriate. Good old oak, it's a gem in 10. 
All right, we got one more stack of Pokemon cards. Then we're going to get into the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. All right, so here's that Pikachu. Um, I feel like, like, um, red and like the uh, Gary, like well, Gary's tactics, and then the the red and blue full art supporter, like kind of like these. I'm not sure if like chibi animation style uh where like all right we have a pit club next where like the proportions of the, the, the trainer is very different uh so i kind of like that it's just different kind of art this one we did get the 10 very happy with that i really like this dawn piplop so a little disappointed on this one but i can sit tell from here the centering is not perfect we got torkoal flannery happy with this we got a turtle gotta get all those graded in 10 gem in 10 for sure a random Celesteela for un, from Unbroken Bonds. I guess the greatest because it looked good. Got the 10. Muck Mucks. I do like the Muck Mucks. I feel like this card, I, I love the sound of it, the, his attacks and stuff like that. I feel like he was never that good. I think he made his way into like a fringe Mewtwo GX deck, Mew, Mew 3 deck. Um, but I was always a fan of this card. The Muck Mucks. All right, this card... I can't remember, I think I may have pulled this myself. It took forever. I opened like a case of uh, Team Up and didn't pull a single Whale Lord Magikarp. I think, oh, I wish I had the pro. was this the pro? No, it's not the promo. Um, I, I think I got the promo too, but then I must have traded or something because I actually wish I kept that. That's a good alt art. Got a random Suicune from Lost Thunder with just a nine. Maybe it's the centering. Oh, a little bit of corner wear. A random Mimikyu from Lost Thunder. This one got the 10. Very nice. All right, here's another one of those diamond, or um, this is Platinum Supreme Victors. Uh, the Platinum Era, Era. Another one of those random shinies, the Yanma. This one got the 8. Happy with that. And last Pokemon card is the Stoutland uh, Charon. And this one only got the 9. Not the biggest loss there. All right, on to some Yu-Gi-Oh card. We're starting, we're going, we're going reverse, all right? No random reason. Uh, we're starting, I just won a set of Exodia. Uh, he was in the premium, oh, this is from Return of the Bling. Actually, I must have just picked this one up on Troll and Toad. A little disappointed by the seven. Uh, I, I think I'm content with anything eight or higher. Um, I feel like... And, and to be honest, like this is just, I'm just starting to dabble in, in just some classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, but I feel like eight or higher is kind of like what, what I would prefer. Uh, don't know what happened with this five. It's probably once, I feel, I feel like there's some significant edge wear and stuff like that. I, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, just looking at it raw, it's hard for me to, like I don't really know what to look at, look for as far as what will ding it and grade wise for PSA. And like the corners are very sharp for these cards. Uh, so we got the main Exodia piece at a nine. So this is from the Return of the Bling. All right. So the DSOD Dark Dimension. Something, I don't remember what the movie was called. Uh, but they had some gold cards, and I think this is probably one of the more sought after ones. Mark Dark Magician Girl. But we only got the nine. Yeah, I don't think I got any tens. Uh, but there's so many different versions of Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. We'll just slowly start adding them to the collection. Here's that Dark Magician, uh, the movie pack. Is this like the promo or something? Because it has like the secret rare, uh, kind of like version where this is the ultra rare, kind of more uh, pattern. Cool Dark Magician though. Ah, I gotta get those guide cards. We got a Slifer 9, and this has like its own art. I'm not sure if it's its own, but definitely unique compared to like typical uh, god cards. Ooh, there's no raw. <laughs> Why is there no raw? All right, so we do have a small ultimate rare collection, and we got some of them graded. Actually, some of them really strong grades. We got Ubel, Terror Incarnate. So this is a GX card. I actually don't think I remember. I actually really liked watching GX uh, just because they actually followed most of the rules. Uh, versus like Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know, it's like, let me just make up how I'm going to win. <laughs> It'll just happen. Oh, there's some like stuff on this card. Maybe that's why we got an eight or another really cool looking blue eyes. Gold tablet. Only an eight. But uh, just a big fan of blue eyes. I think I definitely like blue. All right, here is the 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 best card of this return. Wing Kerbo level 10. It's actually, I must have got this at a great price and got nine out of it. Um... 
yeah, this thing actually sells for pretty high. And uh, just one random note about PSA upcharges, like some of my submissions was pretty egregious and then they just like upcharge everything. I think this order, they didn't upcharge anything. And like this Wing Karibo probably should have been and maybe just managed to go under the radar because there was nothing in the submission that was too egregious. Uh, here we have a Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Uh, this was the teacher in GX and uh, only got a nine. And then actually, that would be another, the last card is another Wing Kuribo level 10, Ultimate Rare. This one, the Ultimate Rare, is a little less pronounced, it's like this one. Uh, but really happy to add these to my collection, and yeah, just kind of, I do have a Yu-Gi-Oh! collection, but it's kind of like more vintage stuff, Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, that kind of early sets, where this is more like modern stuff, uh, so like the, you know, not too disappointed with whatever I get, but I just wanted to have them slabbed up. Um, and uh, yeah, happy to start building out that Yu-Gi-Oh collection. All right, 20 minutes in, long video, but uh, 80 some odd card submission. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.